we know that there's always a hunger and a thirst for more, more speed, more power, no matter what you're doing. So at Cable Bahamas, we're always trying to stay ahead of the demands of our customers. You know, we're moving from our lowest speed, which is almost double what anybody else can offer in the country, to our highest speed, which is almost 800% faster than what our fastest speed used to be. That is phenomenal. As with most projects that we do, the pilot would be New Providence. Once we can prove that it works here, then we would extend to the other islands. I think everyone will benefit from these types of speeds, these mind-blowing speeds that we're offering. To get ready for the new speeds, you know, it's something that is always a part of the network evolution. Uh, we've been preparing for it for about two years now. So it starts from um, researching the technologies, getting the staff trained and familiar with what's going to be happening and actually rolling it out. So we start off with Revon Charge. Revon Charge was 3 megabits per second. It is now moving from 3 to 15 megabits per second. That's a 500% increase. We're moving Revon Boost from 6 megabits to 30 megabits per second. And we're moving Revon Velocity get this, from 9 megabits to 50 megabits per second. That's more than 500% increase in speed. But on the top of it, here's the kicker. We are going to be adding Revon Extreme. Revon Extreme is bringing internet services, broadband services, 70 megabits per second. Now, that's what we talk about revolutionary speed, revolutionary network, Cable Bahamas is bringing to the consumers what North Americans had, and we're actually surpassing it in some instances. I really wasn't prepared to be um, rolling out 70 megabits uh, per second to customers, um, but uh, we took it up as a challenge, and we were able to get achieve those speeds in the lab and in the real environment. So I'm excited to see it uh, actually come to fruition. The reason why these broadband speeds are so important to the Bahamas and where it places us in the world is because everyone uses them. Everyone needs them, more importantly. You have grocery stores, retail stores, bankers, tourism, my goodness, you take a look at the tourist industry. The, when people come here to this country, they expect to have broadband. I've been to so many different countries where you go into the hotels and you go into these different areas and the broadband is just nowhere near what we have here in the Bahamas. We're now talking about taking this to a completely different level. I think for me the easiest analogy is uh, a person having a bicycle and then they're moving on to a, a motorcycle. And so the speed difference is going to be absolutely phenomenal and once you use it and you begin to experience just how fast the network really is, then you would be, why didn't they provide this before? We've been working behind the scenes and we want it and uh, it's all of the time and, and making sure that it's done right before we actually provide it to our customers. There was a recent study that I saw, a global study that said, for every time you double broadband speeds in the country, you add 0.3% to the GDP of that country. Now that may sound like a little bit, but we're talking about 500% increase. The speeds are phenomenal. If you're going to download any movie, if you're going to Skype, if you're doing any video streaming, you will see it almost instantly. Things happen literally in the seconds. It's not the minutes or the waiting or leaving the PC and coming back. This happens in literal seconds. You would notice it almost instantaneously. And for me, I loved every minute of it. Of course, everybody wants to know, what is, how much more is this going to cost me as a consumer? You're talking about multiplying your speeds by five. For God's sake, man, we can't take any more, right? Well, it's not going to cost you anything. We are not increasing our prices. We have not increased, increased our prices from 2007. We're not increasing our prices today. Our prices remain the same, but we're just delivering greater capacity, greater service to our customers. The trends that we see happening around the world, you know, internet is a new animal to um, a lot of countries. Well, I say new, relatively speaking. But as soon as you put it out there, um, we'll find a way to use it up. So we have actually entered into our next phase of uh, upgrades now to be ready for when 
um, 70 megs is just not enough. We offer from our lowest level of service almost twice the speed of what you would get from the highest level of service of any of our competitors. But when we start taking a look at our business customers, which started at 1 megabit per second, they're now moving to 10 megabits per second, a 1,000% increase. So when we start talking about the impact on GDP for a business customer that all of a sudden is getting more than a 1,000% speed increase, you're talking about some tremendous impact. We also have fiber that goes to business customers. Imagine the things that you could do. Imagine the capacity that could go into your business, depending on the type of business that you have. So this is a very exciting time for Cable Bahamas. It's a very exciting time for the country and our place in the world. Other than the reliability of the network, the other ISB, I think at most, at best, would probably be eight megs, and that's the best case scenario. We are going anywhere from about 15 megs to our high-end customer about 70 megs. Can you imagine 70 megs? That's, that's almost unconscionable, and just to be able to offer that to our public, to be able to offer that to Bahamians at large, I think is, is just amazing, and it's typical of Cable Bahamas. This is what we want to do.